Hello, and welcome to one of the most historically and culturally rich cities of Italy, Florence. Once a center of European trade and finance, and one of the wealthiest cities of the Middle Ages. From 1865 to 1871, the city served as the capital of the Kingdom of Italy. It is considered to have been the birthplace of the Renaissance and has therefore been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. Its turbulent political history includes periods of rule by the powerful Medici family, of which we will be hearing more during this visit, and numerous religious and republican revolutions. We are now on Piazza del Duomo, in the heart of the city. Here in just one glimpse, you can instantly admire some of the main monuments of the historic center, mainly the Basilica of Santa Maria del Fiore and its iconic bell tower. This square is one of the most visited places in Europe and the world. The Baptistry of San Giovanni Battista, the octagonal building in front of you, is one of Florence's oldest places of worship. Its appearance is strongly characterized by a combination of Romanesque and early Christian architecture. In the medieval period, it was believed that it was once a pagan temple consecrated to Mars, which was later transformed into a church. Giotto's Campanile is a freestanding bell tower and one of the Florentine showpieces of Gothic architecture. The slender structure is square in plan and almost 85 meters or 280 feet tall. Let's take a closer look to really appreciate the height of it. Pretty tall, right? Up for a little exercise? It is possible to climb the 414 steps to reach the top of the tower and enjoy a marvelous view. The waiting line seems a bit too long for us at the moment, since we have so much more to see in Florence. Time to move on. The Palazzo Vecchio, or Old Palace, is another one of the city's treasures that can't be missed, and because of its sheer size, it is actually very hard to miss. It stands for the political power of Florence, first that of the Republic, and later of the Medici dynasty. Today, it retains its allure as the seat of the city council. The Palazzo Vecchio overlooks the Piazza della Signoria, which has been the center of political life in Florence since the 14th century. It was the scene of great events, such as the Bonfire of the Vanities in 1497, 